But this native PHP kitchen sink app is actually running on iOS. Um, this is in a simulator, but it's also on my phone. And I'm just going to open it up. Now I'm going to, I only have one login for myself here. I could have made another one to demonstrate this or like some of the things that we're doing, but let's go ahead and do uh, email and password, login, and that's wrong. So let's try it again. Cool. And uh, we wanted to see if this would even work. And we were both really surprised uh, I don't know why, but we were both surprised and very happily surprised to see that, well, we've got this Laravel reverb. There was literally no additional, like, um, nothing that we had to really do to make this work other than set up a reverb server and put in the ENV keys, et cetera. So let's just say, hello world from Android and hello back at you from iOS. So that to me is cool. That is really cool actually that we can chat and we can do all that. And it's just like, you know, real stuff that you would use inside of any app. And it's all done with Laravel and Simon Hamp is watching. <laughs> Hi, Simon. Um, the, uh, I think what's really cool is, is because we're using reverb and we're, we're using these native functions, Technically, and there's no demo here yet, but conceptually, we can actually fire off native functions through reverb. So you, your, your imagination is kind of the limit there is what you can really do or expect to do uh, from, when, from within you know, a Laravel application now touching a native device. 